Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate a new feature for Archivematica version 111. This feature is about changes to some of the default rules in our FPR, the Format Policy Registry. After expert community consultation and rigorous discussion within Artifactual, we decided to change some of the default rules for normalization for preservation. These changes apply to all video files and certain image files. Those image files are PNG, JPEG, GIF, and DNG. The normalization for preservation rules are now disabled by default for these file types. Let me show you where you can find this information and how to enable these normalization rules if desired. The FPR can be found in the Preservation Planning tab of Archivematica here. Here you will find the commands and rules for a number of microservices within Archivematica, including normalization. All current rules for normalization, preservation, access, and for thumbnail generation can be found here. This includes enabled and disabled rules. Now, if you type in PNG in the search box, it will display all of the versions of PNG, along with its associated rules for access, normalization, and thumbnail generation. You can see the command associated with the rule, the number of successes for each normalization attempt using that rule, and most importantly, this column here called Enabled. You can see that all the ones for access are set to Yes, but all of the preservation rules are set to No. You can also confirm this by looking over here at the Actions column. Those currently enabled have the option to Disable, but those currently disabled obviously have the option to Enable the rule. Now to look at video, let's search for the output file for the Normalization for Preservation rule, MKV, the Matroska Multimedia Container Format. The first result is an access rule for MKV files, but the rest are preservation rules for video files. If you look over at the Enabled column here, you will see that they are all set to No in version 111. Don't worry, if these settings don't match your organization's preservation policies, then you can reverse them. Now, if I navigate to Adobe Flash 10 and click on the Actions column, I can confirm the changes to the rules. You will now see the rule is going to be enabled, and it will run on my next transfer if I select Normalize for Preservation and transfer any Adobe Flash 10 content. If I now go back to the Rules page, you will see there is now the option to disable rather than enable the rule, and the rule is set to yes in the enable column, confirming it's now active. And this also works the same way if you would like to disable rules. For more information on the rule changes you have seen here today, please visit our Archivematica Issues Repository at github.com and search for issue 912. Or you may check our documentation out at www.archivematica.org.